Hello world, Sector here. Today I'm coming at you with some World of Tanks gameplay at tier 10, featuring the Udes Femtom Sexton, which is the Udes 1516 in Swedish. This tank isn't that hard to play with, however you have to keep in mind that your hull armor is virtually non-existent and Getting shot by artillery will result in getting you obliterated. So without further ado, I will kick off this replay and I will sprinkle in some commentary regarding my spicy gameplay. If you guys are into my footage, are into my videos, you like this kind of gameplay, and if you would like to see some favorites on this channel please let me know so that we can talk together and come to an agreement and in the end making you an offer you can't refuse so please enjoy this footage and let's see how this game will go So, as you guys can see, matchmaking itself is pretty balanced. I need to point out and to spoil things for you because of this Panzerkampfwagen 7, I beg your pardon. I was just trying all the German numbers at once. Uh, is going to give me quite a hard time because this will be the very first foe that I meet in the second. Also, the Guerrilla 15 will also be quite problematic over here. And as I said, this guy popped into sight. And this was a useless shot, but I took it anyway. Just some sort of cover fire. And over here I'm trying to capitalize upon um, the hydro pneumatic suspension of this tank. Because as you guys can see this tank up a lot some really decent gameplay and I was actually checking my angle real time to see how I am faring so I didn't notice this in my gameplay when I uh, actually played the game but this guy with the T10 is called Muscabiata so basically it's drunken fly in Romanian because I'm a Romanian and I uh, kind of know Romanian to say the least as you guys can see the Carilla 15 destroyed Muscabiata And we are trying to to see if we can get the Gorilla 15 to make a mistake and uh, pop into sight. 
because um, his uh, high alpha is quite problematic and uh, this is where I mess up but I uh, tried as much as possible to avoid getting shot by uh, the Gorilla 15 and basically I lost the ISM due to the fact that I, I didn't pop into sights fast enough and this is where I had a stroke of luck and my reflex reflexes worked quite well in my favor this is where um, a lovely uh, trade of shots happens <laughs> so basically I I took no damage at all and it was really rewarding to finish off the Krillin in a split second not the fastest reaction time but it was a mix of reaction time position and uh, luck which I really appreciate in World of Tanks this is where I spot the Chrysler K I didn't get um, to understand exactly the topography of the area but we are dealing damage to the guy and that's the most important aspect of the game as I said before this guy with the uh, Panzerkampfwagen Sieben is going to pose a, a bit of a threat to me and I'm just using the bush as cover I don't plan on getting myself exposed because it's much more important to hold on to your health points rather than uh, take shots which could uh, end really badly for you and this is uh, where I um, I mess up I could have should have retreated This is when I get shot by artillery and by the grill, I think, or the Waffenträger, Waffenträger of uh, Panzer 4. Yeah, you just 15, 16. Yeah, basically, beg your pardon, it wasn't the Waffenträger, it was this. And this is where the game can get quite dodgy if you aren't patient enough. Because health points in World of Tanks are the most important aspect of the video game. If you have enough health points well into the game, you can do awesome, amazing things which can completely turn the balance of a game. So why was my train of thought over here was in the fact that I tried to get the flank of the Udes with inside, but um, I wasn't lucky. The Udes didn't make the push. And right now, Krashet is trying to make the push on my Emil, and 
He destroys my poor bring it on 79 Emil 1 and um, it could have been very tempting to finish him off but I was thinking and thinking and thinking about how to get myself least exposed to the enemy because I, I know that we have the Waffenträger over here and he's the most dangerous element in the video game Basically, you could end me in one shot, I think. I beg your pardon, I don't play with the Puffin Triggers. So, um, this is uh, why I don't really know the damage roll. And I'm just trying to find a befitting position from which to tackle my foes. while not throwing it all away because I didn't like the prospect of throwing away this match it's already 8 minutes of gameplay and uh, it would have been nice to actually go in for the kill and do stupid stuff and I'm just uh, Ring on the edge. I'm um, trying to find a breach. And the breach does occur in this very instance. And the Panzer Kampfwagen even decides to make a push for it. And I didn't risk getting the kill. Because I knew that the Waffenträger of Panzerfeer would have his sights on me. Because this guy, Badener Löwe, um, he's lurking in the shadows. And um, he would love to end me. But World of Tanks is more akin to a strategy game than to an action game. Especially in this kind of stalemate. Because you need to be the last one who commits a mistake. Let your foes lose their patience and rush in. And this is exactly what's going to happen with disastrous results for them because they're going to rush in in the most devastating of ways for them basically having a zerg rush with their RTs which I couldn't believe my eyes when this happened because I I decided not to attack and that drove them crazy, drove them over the board. So um, it really pays off to be patient in World of Tanks and not throw your games away like you would be anxious to get into the next fight and so on. And this is when they decide to make mistakes. And even though I couldn't finish him off, the most inspired thing that he should have done is to basically attack me. And this is when their other RT decides to attack us. Once again, they are pretty much done for. And uh, this is quite absurd because he decided to attack me even though he knew that there was a 12, two, 12 a and me as well and this is where I decide to go with evil on the Panzer Kampfwagen 7 
even though he scored a very good damage upon me, I managed to finish him off. And right now the game is in the bag because we are we are four to one. It's basically too much for the enemy Waffenträger of Panzer 4 or the Badener Glöwe to handle. Sadly, I don't get the last kill, but close enough, and the result uh, is a really good one for me. It's nothing extraordinary, but it's a textbook showcase on how to play World of Tanks correctly based on your vehicle type and on your tier and on the battle. So if you guys are interested in this kind of gameplay, please let me know. And I will catch you guys next time. Sector out.